Hello Internet! A lot of you must have heard of these technology life hacks. A lot of these hacks seem brilliant, but do they really work? Let's get to the first one. Bowls and mugs make good sound amplifiers for phones. I tried the bowl first and it did work, but it made the audio sound more hollow. The mug on the whole was pretty useless as there was little amplification and a lot of awful audio. I can see myself using this to make my alarm louder, but I will never listen to music this way. Calling this an amplifier isn't a false claim, so this one gets a pass from me. The next hack, your phone flashlight's reach can be extended by shining it through a clear bottle of water. I got an immediate negative, the light didn't go further, it didn't even get distributed better, it just softened and turned less bright. But that's not a bad thing, coloured bottles give an awesome glow as you can see here. It's great for camping, but the claim? That's a fail. Next hack. Putting batteries in the fridge will double their battery life. I thought looking this up on the internet would be much easier. Here's what Duracell had to say. We recommend storing batteries at room temperature in a dry environment. Extreme heat or cold reduces battery performance. You'll want to avoid putting battery-powered devices in very warm places. In addition, refrigeration is not necessary or recommended. You know what I would call that? A fail. Next hack. Headphones can be used as microphones. Just plug it in the microphone input jack and record. To test this, I recorded a bunch of bad jokes. First, I tested the Sennheiser MX-170. Without geometry, life is pointless. Without geometry, life is pointless. And it actually worked. The audio wasn't loud enough though. Then I tried the Soundmagic ES-18. I removed the shell of a snail to make it go faster. But it became more sluggish. Although it worked, the results were pretty awful. After this, I tried something bigger, like the Sennheiser HD 180. On a sunny day, I find trees quite suspicious. You know, they're shady. The results on this one were fantastic. The audio was surprisingly clear. The results vary with earphones, but this hack, that gets a pass from me. Next hack, if a battery bounces easily, it is dead. For this, I dropped two batteries which easily bounced. Then I tried it on my controller and the controller worked. This further fueled my skepticism. A bit of research showed me that Shoham Bhadra and Daniel Steingart of Princeton University agree with me. Their experiment showed that every battery below a certain charge bounces the same. For example, a battery with about half charge might bounce as much as a dead battery. So I would say keep your batteries cause this one's a fail. Whoa, wait a second. You could be a crusader of truth. All you gotta do is share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want more content. So, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.